G'day folks. Well over the years we have filmed hundreds of incredibly talented people across the world. Many of these artists have gone on to produce their own videos as well. We hope you enjoy this great lesson from one of our Colour in Your Life artists. Yes, we are, Narelle. How lovely to be here with you. <laughs> it's always fun. So we're making a video this time about drawing. Yes, drawing. Drawing. And people sometimes get quite worried about the fact that they think they can't draw or they've been told that they can't draw. But I'm here to tell you that drawing is innate. It's something we do from childhood, Definitely. isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Every child draws. And every adult can draw, they just are scared. So, yeah, so we, we want to encourage you to just make marks, doodle, like you can do it. And there's, it's not as, you know, complicated as, you know, having this perfect sketched drawing. There's different ways to make marks, different tools. Absolutely. We'll take you through some of those things. Yes, we're going to show you the tools. Mm -hmm. we're going, and I've got some tools here. Um, that we can show you. Um, we're going to go through a bit of a PowerPoint, yep. which is going to show you all sorts of different ways of making marks and drawing. So drawing isn't just pencil, it can be charcoal, you can incorporate paint into it, mm -hmm. you can use, um, there are some particular mediums that you can put onto paper or canvas to make it rougher or smoother, depends on the paper you're using. Mm -hmm. um, and what else is there? So we'll run you through all of that and then we will actually do a demo of course. Christine will show you um, start to finish, take you through how she goes about making a nice drawing. Yes and my drawing in this particular instance is a creative drawing because I, I want you not to be scared. I want you to have a go and this is just an, an introduction mm -hmm. to the fact that we can all draw. Let's get cracking. Okay. I'll just finish off my cup of tea now. So let's start with tools. Indeed. I think we're going to run through some slides that will show some of Christine's drawings and we'll chat about what tools you've used for each of those. Yes. And you can see I have a little pack, a pencil case full of tools. So what to use? Pencil? Pencil. Pencil's the first thing, of course. And you can go from a hard pencil to a soft pencil. The B in HB and B2 means black. Nice. This one's pencil as well, but also with a little bit of paint. Yes. So I tried to emphasize the uh, this one with gold acrylic. Nice. Now this has pumice, fine pumice on the paper and it gives a very rough surface and it gives you interesting texture when you use pencil over the top. Wow. Now we turn uh, onto the tip, fibre tips now. Yes, and you can get these Faber-Castells in a series of greys and so I've used all of the greys there. And this is just a standard black gel pen, um, a drawing from Paris and I just like to use these um, these one millimeter pens, pens. Nice, and when you do these ones, you don't use pencil first. No, I don't. And this ballpoint is just to show you that you can use an ordinary ballpoint. Charcoal is something that's great fun to use. It's um, on a rough paper here. It gives you a real sense of the texture. And charcoal again. Charcoal is very immediate, and you can also use it. Um, you know, you can smudge it and do. All you sorts can of smudge things. it, and in this one, I've actually used an eraser to take out some of the charcoal. This uses Conti um, crayon as well as a pencil and pastel. Right. Mm. And this one is a, a pen and wash sketch. Um, so I've used watercolor, and I've used the gel pen again to emphasize parts of the the uh, work. This also is paper with pumice, fine pumice gel on it. And then I've drawn in pencil and then I've used some ink. And this is the piece you're actually going to show everyone with a demo. Absolutely. I'm starting with a 2B pencil. 
and 300 GSM. This is cold pressed paper, so it's got a slight roughness to it. You can hear my fingers scratching on it. Nice. And I'm just going to um, do some of that corner over there. And I'm just a very loose drawer. Um, I won't be doing anything too fancy. Just sort of getting in some shapes. And I'm not too fussed about whether my shapes are perfect or not. I just want to get an idea of that corner, which is kind of, it's an attractive little um, space. It is. I'm going to zoom in on that so everyone can actually see what it is you're going to draw. Well, there, there are some kind of preserved bits of greenery there that are now quite dead. But I don't mind... I don't mind a bit of dead greenery <laughs> no. because it's brown now, but it, it's still got it's got interesting shapes. It does. It's a little Margaret Ollie esque. Well, yes, and you could say that I'm a bit Margaret Ollie esque because I've got I've got my yellow wall. Ah, true. And I've got um, places full of dead flowers. <laughs> we love it. Uh, means there's always something to draw, Chris. There is. <laughs> or paint. Yeah. So you can see that I'm certainly, I'm not fussed about whether I'm getting exactly the right uh, shape here. If you know about contour drawing, and we'll do contour drawing in the, at some point in time, you'll understand that this is a form of contour drawing. Yeah, that's true. I'm just zoomed in on your actual drawing now so people can see how you how you do how mark it's making. Yeah. yeah. I'm just there's a there's a there's a pair there that I'm just sort of giving a bit of a shape to and there are some books. Just Giving you the outline there. So you have a very loose style and way of drawing for most of the time. I mean, you do do a little bit more precise uh, drawing work occasionally, but mostly I feel like you've got a pretty loose style. Quite loose. And you can see the way I'm holding this pencil right up the end there, which makes it I can't control it as well as if I was holding it down here. Yep. So that means that I'm going to make it, it's going to be very loose. If I hold it down at this level, I can be much more precise about what I'm doing. But that doesn't suit me because I really want to get just a sense and sort of atmosphere into the drawing rather than it being a perfect representation of something. Yeah, it's, it's a very sort of um, interesting way you draw in that it, even though your, your mark making is quite loose, the ac actual representation, uh, your composition and the size and shape of all your pieces are actually pretty accurate, even though you're working in a loose style, if that makes sense. Well, I hope, I hope so, and, I, and, and you can see that I'm not fussed about the fact that you can see some of the lines through other objects. So you could say that really what I'm doing is I'm abstracting uh, the, the, the setting. Yeah. And I can go into it and play with it a bit more um, as I wish to so that I can put in a bit of patterning and I can put in so I can move to something else and get something like this um this Conti pencil oh yeah which is a black compressed charcoal sort of pencil uh-huh and you know we can get some really kind of quite dark lines Adding nice contrast, and you've you don't use an eraser. 
Well, I do sometimes. Right. Um, but with most of my art, if I make a mistake, I like to see if it will work because um, mistakes can be very... Yeah, I like that idea. ...contributing to, yep. the, to the artwork. Um, that doesn't work if you're a... Um, if you know, if you're a realist, you uh -huh. want to get things exactly right. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm not. I'm not really that interested in being a realist. I'm just interested in being. Just making my interpretation of what I see. Yeah. Oh, and we've just jumped into a time lapse. Our editing skills aren't 100% yet, but we're getting there. We're learning. We're learning fast. And in this, I'm just going to finish off with the charcoal and then some black ink. Nice. So just enjoy. And here's the finished drawing. You've got a great uh, view of Christine's vantage point. You can see in the background there the um, setup, the still life that she drew, and this is almost the finished drawing. And then I thought a little colour to finish it off. Oh, yeah, beautiful. <laughs> 